Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick demo on executor services and uh, submitting tasks and dealing with uh, the differences between uh, runnables and callables. In this example, I have a, just a quick thing where we're going to um, be able to read and write text from files. So like I have a method for reading text, writing text, they both throw IO exceptions. Um, this rather contrived example where we're going to uppercase the file so we read it in and write it out. That also throws an IO exception. And then we're going to write a couple of methods. We're going to do them in parallel. They start off with reading both things from uh, both text files. So like read them into A, read them into B, return it as a list, and then when the uh, runs some notebook case. So if I run these, you can see that uh, the first time um, it sort of just calls them and it you know reads them in from a file, prints out uh, the two things normally, and then uh, we uppercase them and read them in and they're capitals. So let's go to these two programs. Um, we have our reads from files, like uh, we could certainly make it so that instead of reading them sequentially, let's do um, reading them in parallel. So we're passing this executor. So let's uh, submit a task. And with this, uh, let me close this out. And we can just take computation from here. And you can see it's a little upset at us because we got all the red because we have not built it so that it returns a string. So now that this returns a string, we can catch it in this future. And now if I just say a future get, that'll continue to work, it produces the exact same result. And we have this nice thing where this a reading of this text file can happen in parallel with this one. <clears throat> now let's go to this uppercase file situation. We have two things here. Let's do the exact same thing where we create a future. Um, it won't be of type string anymore. We can put the question mark in for now. Um, and that is going to just uppercase the file in parallel with the other one. And you can see it's upset at this point. And it's got this exception. And one of the things it offers for us to do is like, it's because um, this guy uh, is storing exception. It didn't complain to us here because it was an IO exception. because. Um, executor service has two versions of submit. It has one which takes just a runnable and one which takes callable. If you look at runnable, it has a run method as one method. Um, and But unlike callable, it doesn't allow you to throw an exception from it. So it's a, a little uh, counterintuitive. You can go to this guy and say surround it with a try catch. It's kind of ugly. Um, we'd rather uh, chain the exception rather than just catching it and printing it. So one thing, the really the quickest way to get around this is just to return null, and that turns it into um, a, a future. Now, uh, what we failed to do for both of these is, uh, no matter what, I want to make sure that I call a future dot get, okay? Because otherwise, this this um, function would return without uh, waiting for this to complete. And if we put it after the uppercase file, b file, they'll happen in parallel. 